and welcome to this week's Paper Crafts and Piano and I'm not sure if you noticed but my face isn't on the screen so we're not actually live tonight but we've done a lovely little pre-record for you as we like to do because we're not actually available this evening live although we may be commenting so do look out for maybe a few messages. Are you alright Craig? I'm good thank you. Good stuff, good stuff. Have you got some nice songs lined up for I us? Alright well I've got I completely know what I'm doing today for this week's um, Paper Crafts and Piano because it's my mum and dad's golden wedding anniversary um, today, actually, Tuesday. So um, I'm making a card for them when we've recorded this so that um, I'm trying to, to cover all bit to kill two birds with one stone, as it were. Yeah. Yeah. So let's do a nice recording um, today for you. And I'm going to make them a nice card. Now, when I saw these papers, which are the um, Fancy Flora papers, I just knew that I wanted to use um, this piece. And rather than going like goldy and gold and things like that, I'm going to go for sort of browns um, and greens. I'm going to go down that sort of route um, with, the, with the colours. And I just loved this one. Um, as you can see, these have been the design's been hand painted onto a canvas by the Stampin' Up artist with oil paints, as you can see there, and they've just created some stunning results. I have shared these papers before. Um, they're in the mini catalogue. This is just beautiful. Um, this is probably one of my favorite ones from the pack, as well as the one that I'm using today. You do get four designs of each and they are six by six. Um, so, got lots of texture in these papers, which is brilliant that Stampin' Up! managed to sort of create that, that look. Um, okay, so I'm gonna do a sort of trifold card, I think, not a trifle, trifold. And I think I'm gonna go with crumb cake. Um, as I say, I'm going down that sort of color route. an easy card. I don't think I'm going to use any ribbon today. I'm going to put a piece of A4 into the trimmer and cut it at 14, just over 14.8. You're off with that piece, which we don't really need. And then flip that round, move your cutter to the bottom and then score this at 9.9. .9. I'm working with metric card so these are in centimeters I'm afraid flip it round and score at 9.9 .9 again okay and then they should be in equal sections so then we can just fold that like that and we've got just a simple trifold card there I want to cover this with gorgeous papers and I need to decide which parts to use. Probably going to just use two um, but let's see how it goes. I've also brought some soft suede down so I'm going to cut this down at 10. Fourteen point three. No, I've cut that wrong. No, I've cut the height right, but it doesn't need to be ten because it's thinner. It needs to be nine point four. Now. 
And I think the centre one I'll do in soft, um, soft succulent, yeah. There's a lot of our um, colours that have the word soft. So we've got soft sea foam, soft suede, soft succulent. It's easy to get mixed up. So I've got my layers like that. So I want to do lots of layers on this card. Um, oh, a lovely bit of Celine Dion there. Celine Dion? Yeah. Nice relaxing Celine Dion. Okay, so I do need to decide. Unfortunately, you're gonna have to cut into the paper. I think I'm definitely gonna do that one there. So this needs to be, I've done that at songs that is it one. yeah it's not a i want to dance with somebody kind of well-known level but i knew it was whitney sorry i didn't think it was radio this morning oh I, but i know my whitney you see and yeah, i've still i've still not been to see the film it's, actually, it's a nice song that yeah it is it's, it's quite yeah. raw it is raw vulnerable that's the word we're doing for looking for a longer word on a sunday vulnerable yeah yeah but we did record this on sunday <laughs> i know it is tuesday for yourselves right um i've lost my i've lost my mojo with my measurements um so it's 9 
Okay. Right. So that's going to be there. We're going to have that. And then I'm wondering if I could get away with. I don't know. Just having a strip. I'm wondering if I could cut down that. Yeah, there's not much of that left. Let's stick these others together and then make that decision in a moment because we've been on for 10 minutes and really all I've done is, is uh, try and make paper decisions. But I think that's crafting really, trying to make decisions on what to use. So I've done those. It's gonna go there like that. I've actually had an idea not to use that. I've just thought of something else that I can do there. Okay, so done the outer two panels now was that get here yes olita adams yes but who was sang it originally oh man i just know olita adams yeah i don't care how you get here i think you can Ken Russell, I think wrote it oh i love that song Scissors. I did have scissors when I checked. Oh, yes. got the two outer panels done and I think what I'm going to do now is decorate the middle piece um, with a little bit of stamping 
and I'm going to turn to the two-tone flora stamp set which is this one I demonstrated this on my new catalogue launch last Sunday and um, it went down really well I don't think oh I did clean those stamps I think which is good hopefully we will soon see Right, so hmm, I'm going to try, I'm going to practice actually on, oh I'll practice on this piece and could maybe use that for something else. So these, I'm going to stamp in soft suede and crumb cake and I'm actually going to stamp with the darker one first. I actually think this needs re-inking, so that's not a bad thing because it's not going to be too dark then and I'm going to stamp it. Right, and that, that's fairly light as well. So what I'm going to do is line up the stamen. Oh, that was lovely, that. Good on Mariah Carey. Good on Mariah. Good on yeah. And then we have, oh, that looks great. That was really good. And I've done it on the scrap piece. And it's so basically, if you line the little stamen up there, you get that lovely well, tutor. You if you get the scrap piece, can you do away from the scrap piece? Yeah, well, I could. That, that I can cut that down and that can be the real one. All right. It could be the real one. It's it's. I just need to cut a bit, a bit off. But that was just my practice. Is that a good question? It is a good question. I don't know if... The flowers in the exactly in, maybe in the right place where I want it, but actually, it it could be it could be good that Craig. Thanks for the question. Yeah, but let's just do it again and see if I can do it well twice. <laughs> Not as good as me. Not as good as you. Oh, challenge! No challenge now. You can't see now. Normally you can watch what I'm doing on YouTube, but but you can't now because it's. Uh, pre-recorded so that's the first bit oh i'm on under pressure now there's a song for you ding 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 and then you line up the little stamen i'm gonna have to move it a bit down because my husband's questioning my stamping abilities here oh look i've done it spot on again on the correct piece so there we go that hope you can see on screen that looks really good <laughs> well I'm, i think so anyway um so i'm gonna grab a small block or smaller block and the soft succulent ink pad now let's take two smaller ones now if you only have one color ink pad 
you can achieve the same effect um, just with using the one colour because you can stamp off. Um, now this one, I've not used this one before, I don't know what it's supposed to look like. So I'll have a practice on here. And then take the other one. And I'm guessing I'm lining up these little dots. There we go, all right, excellent. So we'll do that one. I nearly stamped it in the wrong one then. <laughs> there we go. Let's try another one. cute little number. I love you always forever. Yeah. I love your stamping always forever. Oh, do you love my stamping? Yeah. Aww. I'm doing good stamping, Craig. I'm doing good stamping. Hopefully it looks good on the screen. <laughs> bits in. Oh, I'm really pleased with that actually. Really pleased with that. So that's using the two-tone flora stamp set and I'm going to layer that in the... I mean that would make a lovely card. In the centre of the project so move all my lovely stamps out of the way so just to remind you there I um, use the soft suede and the crumb cake so I did use two ink pads but you could use one always get the darker one always buy if you're building up your ink pads always buy the darker one and then you can stamp off um, and then make it lighter but you can't make a lighter ink pad darker really so that's going to go in the middle there
just going to keep that. Okay, now I've brought down a few stamp sets and I've also brought down um, some dies. So let's see how to decorate this now. Where are we at? We've done about nearly half an hour. So we can, um, I can just get, just going to do this one card today. Right. I'm going to use, I think, the alphabet dies because they've got numbers in as well. So I'm going to get the... Have you seen the amazing offer to join Stampin' Up this month and next month? You can get a free mini machine, either this one or the a new blue one. Right, I'm going to use this spare piece of crumb cake that we had left over. So you can get a free machine when you purchase the starter kit. And it's a hundred and... £25 and you get £170 worth of freebies plus well when I say freebies you can choose £170 worth of stuff from the catalogue and then you um, also get a free machine worth £59 which is amazing going to try to do something with these numbers that I've never done before on on a video I don't think I don't think I've really ever done before full stop so we'll see how it goes um so what I'm gonna do see if it works okay so I've got my Versamark stamp pad and I'm actually going to add some fresh um, refill to it now just so it's quite juicy So it's quite soaked in Versamark. Take that off. And then I'm going to sprinkle gold embossing powder on it. Just going to leave that for a while. It's hidden and buried in embossing powder. And then do the same with the five. Oh, that was lovely, Craig. Was that that new one you've just got? Keeper, is it Keeper of the Stars? Keeper of the Stars. Ah, very relaxing. I'm, oh, just to give you a little warning, my love, I'm going to be using the noisy uh, thing that sounds like a hairdryer in a minute. Sorry. One time. One time. <laughs> yeah, I'm probably going to do it once. Okay, let's... Right, 
let's cover that up. Let's see how this works. <laughs> Could be a disaster. Let's find that. Now, I should be using tweezers for this and I've got my embossing set and I've forgotten to bring it down. Um, so we'll just pop that there and we'll get the number five as well. And then we can pop this back in there. Should I'm just so not used to that embossing set that I've got. go at heat embossing these using my scissors to hold them but hopefully we'll see how it goes. Oops, I've not switched it on, that would have been good. Is it in tune? I thought it was, but I didn't. selling point Ooh. right I think that's been quite successful so should we have a look um, in fact let me just see if you can see that on screen how I've created the gold numbers. I'm very impressed with that actually. Um, so that's gonna go on the front, I think, because it's a bit of a statement um, with the gold embossing. So I'm gonna put it on a label, I think. So let's have a look. I've got some new dies, something fancy. And they're actually part of the suite of the two-tone flora. And I thought these would be nice for the front, so. I just need to. I'm gonna cut both of those out.
shaped. I think I'm happy with that. It covers quite a bit of the um, paper up, but let's just see what it looks like with the smaller one and the. Yeah, I think it needs to be the bigger one. And what I'll do here. something and we're like I'm not sure what it was right we're getting there now so I'm gonna do mum and dad so we'll, I think I'll use ooh, I think I'll use soft suede so I'm gonna do the and first in the middle because it's easier to work out where the middle is rather than starting and getting it too high up or too low down greeting in here that says um, happy anniversary so I think I'll just stamp that in the center um, so let's glue this on here oops Prince. Oh, we've had everyone tonight, haven't we? It's going to go there.
minutes. Oh, a bit more Whitney. Yeah? A bit more Whitney. Well, I'm nearly finished, Craig, with this card. Got two songs left. Oh, have you got two left? Yeah. All right, okay. So, all right, that's perfect. finish the card um probably going to add a couple of um little gems but before i do that i'm just going to tidy the stamps away because i lost a stamp last week but i've actually just by accident found it this morning i thought i'm going to leave it and it will turn up and it has when i least expected it so I'll clean these. Was that the Spice Girls? The Spice Girls. Is that a first? Yes. We've never had Spice Girls in 130, is it six weeks? Uh, tidied away, that's tidied away. And I already tidied the mum and words away, so that's had quite a lot of interest in this stamp set this week, which is, it's a really good one. Uh. Okay, so we're all tidied away. So there we have the trifold card. And I'm going to just, these are the new adhesive back milky dots. I don't know if the gold is right on here, so let's have a look. They are, the colours are, oh, it doesn't say. So these little dots and match the cake that I've got them.
favourite ones, which are these. I'm going to pop a couple of these. There we go. All done, all done. Ah, oh, what a nice medley. I don't think my mum and dad listen to paper crafts and piano or watch. I think they have occasionally, but anyway, this one, this is from my mum and dad. that was lovely at the end thank you for that and thank you for watching and i hope you do like the project that i've made today and more importantly i hope my mum and dad like it um i'm sure they will do you like it craig that's lovely isn't it do you like that yeah very nice. Gold numbers there. it's nice with the cake yeah it does doesn't it that we, had, that we had today was really nice oh that we've had a piece of today but really it was not it. today but this is tuesday so yeah. we've had it and we've really enjoyed it yeah really nice cake <laughs> really good cake yeah. right thank you for tuning in see what i did there good that yeah Tune in, in. Oh. Yeah. And uh, we'll be back next Tuesday. We will. Live as normal. And we will see you then. See you later. Bye-bye.